Moving on to other stories, towards addressing the high rate of unemployment in Nigeria, government at all levels have been admonished to develop the human capital of teaming Nigerian youth as well as create an enabling environment for businesses to thrive. This call follows the latest in-depth by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, which revealed the reduction of unemployment by 4.1% in the first quarter in 2023. Correspondent John Felix tells us more in this report. According to the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's unemployment rate dropped to 4.1% in the first quarter of 2023 from 5.3% in the fourth quarter of 2022. The MBS said it enhanced its methodology of collecting labor market data through the Nigerian Labor Force Survey in line with international labor organizations' guidelines. However, concerned Nigerians in a chat with Galaxy TV News say the unemployment rate can drop further when students and youth prioritize entrepreneurship. Students need to be actively involved in entrepreneurial skill acquisition. It is when students are self-reliant after graduation that they can produce uh, jobs. Students nowadays are supposed to be producers of jobs, not, um, not applicants, if we want this country to move forward. Uh, Nigeria is a consuming economy where virtually everything we consume in Nigeria has been imported. If that should be the case, I think we need to develop our, our human capital in Nigeria. And 80% uh, of the human capital we are talking about in Nigeria are students. They are the young ones. They are the youths. So all tertiary institutions need to review their curriculum. Uh, many people are graduating. They are, not having, they are not getting opportunity to get jobs. And this has also put or tinted them into criminality. I feel that if the government can... can uh, create employment opportunities, create uh, agricultural settlement centers, empower um, youths to go into more agricultural activities, use their hands to create a wealth for the nation. I think that will go a long way by people creating individual wealth and self-employment for them. I think the government has to do a lot of things by creating job opportunities for our teaming youths. What then should government do towards addressing the rate of unemployment in the country? The, the, both the, the three tiers of government, the federal, the state and local government, have very serious roles to play. Uh, the federal government needs to encourage a private uh, tertiary institution, most importantly, third fund, third fund fund, supposed to be extended to tertiary institutions, so that they will use this fund to train the student in vocational skill acquisition and uh, a sort of uh, soft loan should be organized for the student after graduation to start a small business. With this, uh, the, the statistic will drop drastically uh, so that students or youth will not be job seekers but job producers. Definitely, I, I'm a criminologist, there's, there's a high correlate between crime and unemployment. Because when they said the idle man is the devil's workshop, and you can see our youth, most of them, because they have lost hope in the government, and that's why they go into yahoo yahoo money rituals, thinking that that is the best way. So the government has to actually sit down and create a. Nigeria, our youth are, are creative. That's why if you see our youth, when they go outside this country where they have the opportunity, they perform very well. So I don't know why the government should not create the same opportunity for them here. And remember, they are the future of this country and they are the future leaders. Nigerians will be on the lookout for MBS statistics for quarter two and three to see the impact made so far. From Abel Kuta, the State Capital, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television News.